In this video, we take a look at how to design a vintage flyer or banner like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. This video is inspired by the 64th celebration of Ghana's independence. And so I tried to come up with something for you guys. And we want to go back to the 1957 and the 1958 type of designs. So we're going to look at the vintage style of designs. And here are the resources that I'm going to use. I got a couple of them for you. Links to download them will be in the description. You can send me the final design when you are done. And we can vibe on Instagram. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. Now here in Photoshop, the first thing that we want to do is we want to set up a new document. I'm using Photoshop CS6, but this should work with anyone or any version of that you are using. So we go to file and then we're going to set a new type of document. So I'm going to set this one to inches and I'm going to type here 60 by 36. That is 3 by 5 feet so 36 over here and then you realize that the image size is very big so i'm going to reduce my resolution to around 72 so that the, the image size will be quite small and it can run smoothly in photoshop now we're going to go according to the old style of kind of designing so the vintage style so the first thing we want to do is we want to add a solid color so this is the hex code if you want to use it and I'll go ahead and click OK. Now I'll go to view new guide and I'm going to set some guidelines. So I'll first of all set 6% for the edges. I'll go ahead and add another one minus 6 from 100 will be 94. So 94%. And I'm going to set the last one that is going to be in the middle. That is the 50%. Right from there, I'll go for my rectangle tool. So the rectangle tool is right over here. And I'm going to create a rectangle to fit to the middle guideline that we set. And I'm going to change the color. So I'll double click on the color palette over here. I want to go for something that is quite lighter than the actual color that we are using. So I can go to the color up here. But then I've already set the color. So let me just go for this one. Something way very lighter. So this is the hex code if you want to use that and then i'll go ahead and i'll click ok now the next thing that i want to do is i'll go inside my resources and i have this image that i got from google so i'll just drag and drop it inside of photoshop so i'll open it up like that and then i'm going to double click on it once i'm done with it i'll right click and rasterize the layer I'll press Ctrl Shift and then U to desaturate it so that it all turns into black and white. And then I'll go ahead and click on the blending mode over here, set it to multiply, and then I'm going to lower the opacity to 10%. So I can lower the opacity from here to 10% or I can easily type in the figure and then I'll hit on enter. Once I'm done with that, I'll go back to my resource and I have a picture of Nkrumah and his fellows on the Independence Day. That is where he stood to declare the independence of Ghana. So I got it also. So I'm going to open it up, position it at the very right top here, and then I'm going to double click on it. I right click and rasterize the layer. I'll go to the blending mode and then i'm going to set it to soft light so that it fades right into the background and then i'm going to add a layer mask to it so this is the layer mask i'll add a layer mask i'll pick my brush tool that is b for brush and then i'm going to brush it off so that it blends with the background let me increase my opacity over here so i'm going to brush it off like that and then i'll select the actual layer from here and i'm going to decrease the opacity so that it fades right into the background that we've set now the next thing we want to do is we want to go for the rectangle to right over here and we want to create a rectangle at the very edge and this is the color that i'm using so you double click on the color hex code or the color picker and then this is the hex code that i'm using you can use that as well and then i'll go ahead and click ok so now once we're done with this we can say that this is going to serve as the background or perhaps let's bring in the ghana flag so i'm going to bring in the ghana flag over here i'll drag and drop it at the very right side of where we have the layers click ok from here and then i'm going to select my 
cropping tool that is C for the crop and I'm going to crop it right over there like that. So this picture is from Vector Stock All Right Reserve to them. Now we are only interested in the Ghana flag. So what we're going to do is going to go for any one of the magic or quick selection. I prefer the magic selection too. And then I'm going to make a selection and I'm going to delete the background. So afterwards I'll press Ctrl D and then I'll choose my move tool and then I'll drag it into the document that we are working on in. So right over here, I can press Ctrl T and transform this one a little bit like that. But remember we are going the vintage style so we don't need the colors over here i intentionally didn't use these colors so i'm going to press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate this select the blend mode and i'm going to set this one also to color band now the next thing that i want to do is i want to bring in the main subject that is going to be osaji for dr kwame and chroma i got this picture also from the internet and i took off the background so let me just quickly use what i've taken off the background i'll include both of the images so if you want to do it in a different way that will be very nice so i'm going to drag and drop him inside of photoshop and then i'll position him right over there now i want to make sure that he's in the middle so i'll press ctrl a and make sure that he's centered and then i can drag him down a little bit now we want to convert this to the the vintage style of design so we want to right click on the image here rasterize it go to the blending mode and we're going to set this one to color band so that it blends seamlessly with the background that we are using now the next thing that we want to do is we want to add the test to this so the first one i've already written my test over here so the first one is going to be the 64th independence day celebration so i'm going to copy that i'm going to make use of the font called poppins and i'm going to paste it right over there like that now what i want to do is i want to take my time and then reposition the test so i'll first open it up like this and then i'm going to select the 64th alone over here and i'm going to make it very big so there i'll increase the size very big like that and i'm going to select all of them go to the toggle character here and i'm going to make sure that the tracking is set to about minus 80 percent so that it will be closed enough let me make it 60 and then it will be closed enough and then i'll decrease the leading or close up the leading like that i can even decrease it some more or close it up some more like that and then i'll select the independence alone and i'm going to increase the size a little bit so that it's on the same line with the celebration select the 64th and i'm going to open that also up to make sure that they are all aligned so something quite like that now what i want to do is i want to bring it down over here press ctrl t and i'm going to transform it close it up a little bit like this and i'm going to position it at the extreme right over there now let me drag another guideline from here to make sure that it is in alignment with the ghana flag so that my work will actually be in alignment now the next thing that i want to do is i want to set a new guideline one guideline more so I want to set a horizontal guideline of 50% so I'll set 50% over here and then I'm going to bring my test down so that is the reason why I had to set the guideline okay so from there what I do is I'll go for my rectangle tool again and I'm going to create a rectangle over here so a very small one like that and I'm going to open it up a little bit so it has to be on the same line now what we want to add in there is when you go to the test over here i have celebrating peace and unity so for over 64 years ghana is still celebrating peace and then unity that is amazing you know and then i'm going to paste it right over here so i'll select all of these i'll select all of the test and i'll go to the color picker over here and i'm going to pick the background color that we are using i'll try and decrease the font size to be very small so that it can fit right into this particular rectangle so i'm going to take my time to reposition it and i'll open it just like that so in chroma said one of the greatest quotes that i really love so much and this is the quote that in chroma said so i'm just going to copy that one as well 
and i'm going to pick my test tool but this time around i wouldn't just left click and then create a test i'm going to select all of it or i'll left click and then hold to create what we call a test box and i'm going to make sure that the font is around very small some a font that is very small and i'm going to pick this color and i'm going to paste the test over here so right from here it appears that the font is very small so let's select all of it and try to increase it some more like that let's try to increase it some more so something like that you want it at the very end of the Kwame chroma and then what we're going to do is we go to open the toggle character and we're going to set the paragraph to left align so something like that and let's try to close up this one and let me open it up here all right so just like that and then i'm going to close it up from the bottom here just like that so after i'm done with this what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag it down a little bit so i'm going to select all of these and i'm going to change the font size to regular that it's going to be something very quite small as compared to the main one over here and then once we're done with that i think we are good so the next thing we want to do is we want to create another test on the extreme right side of the image and then for that we're going to write 1957 to 2021 so i'm going to select my test and i'm going to left click over here that i'm going to type 1957 and i'm going to open it up to be very big so 1957 to 2021 so i'll bring it over here quite very simple like that and then i'm going to reduce the opacity so let me try 30 percent so you can just drag this to 30 percent or use the numeric keys on your keyboard and let's try about 40 percent we want it to look like faded so 50 i think 50 looks very good over here so let's make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then we drag it to the very bottom and let's select all of that so 1957 to 2021 we're going to transform that as well so ctrl t to transform it and then we bring it over here like that and then we can set this one to about 70 percent so that that one can actually show a little bit so we can select all of these ones and then we group it and we can call that the test so write the test over here and then at the right side bottom here we want to add some pictures that i got from the internet literally pictures of Kwame chroma on the day of the independence and stuff so what i want to do is i want to go for my rounded rectangle over here and i'm going to create a rounded rectangle very small and simple like this one now what i want to do is i want to make a duplicate and then i'll press ctrl t and transform it over here so to make sure that everything is clear to you let me double click on the color palette over here or the layer thumbnail and i'm going to change this color to white now what i want to do is i want to select the two of this one group it and then i can make a duplicate so i'll press ctrl j to make a duplicate and i'll send it to the extreme right and make sure that there are some space in it i'll make another duplicate and i'll send it over here make sure that there are some space in it now i'm going to select all of the three groups that i made and i'm going to transform it to be a little bit smaller and then i'll bring it to this very side right over there so i'm going to insert in the pictures so it's quite simple any one of them that you want to insert the image you just have to go to the group and then you're going to open it so for instance this is the first group i come over here i want to insert the picture in the white rounded rectangle so what i do is i go to my resource here i got a couple of the pictures so the first one is going to be this particular one so i'm going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop i'll bring it over here open it up a little bit like that and then i'm going to right click and then create a clipping mask so i'm going to transform it to fill the entire image and then i can position it over here now i'll move to the second group that is this one select the rounded rectangle and then i'll go to my resource and i have the second image right over here and i'm going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop open it up like that 
and then I'm going to make sure that I right click and create the clipping mask now if I press on Control H to turn off the guidelines this is exactly what we've come up with so far and then I can press on Control H back to make sure that my guidelines are in now we are almost done with the design but let's add some couple of shapes to this to make it nice so the first shape that we want to add is some group of rectangles so i'll go for my rectangle over here and i'm going to create a very simple small rectangle like that and it is going to use the actual color that we use for this particular rectangle so what we're going to do is we're going to make duplicate so Control j and then we make a duplicate and drag it down like that and then we can select the two make another duplicate and then we can bring it over here like that quite simple so after we're done with everything we can select all of them press ctrl e and then you're going to group all of them to become one is that very simple right now once we're done with that let's go to this side of the design and what we're going to do is we're going to add another sort of rectangles also over there so what we want to do is we want to go for the rectangle tool and we're going to create a very simple rectangle like that now this time around this is going to take the color of the background that we are using so this one and then we can take time to position it in the middle now this rectangle looks way very long so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ctrl t and i'm going to close it up a little bit let me zoom out so just like that i'll bring it over here and then i'm going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and send it to the very bottom over here now in between these rectangles i want to place something so over there pretty much like social media handles so i'm going to select my rounded rectangle and then i don't want to hold shift and create a rounded rectangle because it is going to combine with this one so i'll create a new layer on top of this one I'll i can then hold shift and then create a perfect circle like that and then i'm going to position it over here now the color is the same as the color we are using for the rectangle that's why you can't see it, so i can change it to this one but we don't even need that we can just turn the fill to zero percent right click on it and go to the blending options and then we can add a stroke to this one so the stroke we're going to use the background color and click ok and set this one to five that is the size and then we can click ok from here now you take your time to position this one very nicely in the middle and then you can make a duplicate drag it here and then you make another duplicate and then you drag it to the very bottom but i'm not actually going to add a social media handles because this even is a design on its own but if you feel like you can add the social media handles to it and the last thing that i want to do is i want to select these independence day celebration over here and make it slightly different from the main one so i can choose a color from here for instance or let me even go for a color like this one but this time around something quite less deeper than the main one and then you can use this one for the independence day celebration the last one that i'm going to do is i'll make a duplicate of this particular rectangle that we did here press ctrl t right click on it and i'm going to flip it 90 degrees clockwise and i'll bring it over here now i'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail and i'm going to set it to this color make sure that it is right to the guidelines that we set and then i press ctrl t and then i can transform it to this very side so i can select all of these ones and call it the shapes and yes that'll be pretty much it for this video thank you so much for sticking around to watch please don't forget to check out all the other tutorials that i've made on independence day and i wish all the Ghanaians out there a happy independence day if you're a Ghanaian out there leave your independence day message in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye